travel expert Jennifer Weatherhead Harrington is just back from a fabulous trip to South Florida where it was very hot. It was. Yes, <laughs> but they're used to it there. Yes, exactly. And I mean, hey, I like the heat, so it's fine with yeah. me. Yeah. So Miami, I think a, a lot of people, like growing up, it was always like, oh, it's someplace your grandparents go. But n the new Miami is, yeah, yeah. is so much, it's so much art and great food and culture. Yeah, yeah. I think a lot of people also think of just the beach when they think of Miami. Maybe spring break and their grandparents and that kind of thing. But Miami is so diverse. It has so much culture and arts and food, like you said. And they have this really great new campaign. It's called Find Your Miami. Kind of like letting you know that there are so many different ways that you can explore it. So if you've been there before, you can go and have a completely different experience. Or you can like, you know, explore something completely different and outside of your comfort zone too. Okay, so tell me about your experience. You were there for five days, what did yes. you do? So first thing I did was I started out in the art uh, district called Wynwood. So this is kind of where graffiti is really taking off. It's one of the best graffiti spots in North America, if not the world. And they actually have the world's only graffiti museum here. So you can kind of learn how it went from being illegal and like kind of a bad thing to happen to how artists are actually making a living from it today. You can do a really great, uh, street art tour with Miami's best graffiti tour guide and his name is Pedro and he'll take you around show you all the murals he's an actual artist and then he can show you how to do your own graffiti yourself cool. so a very cool cool spot and then they have a really great hotel there called the Arlo Hotel they have a very Instagram worthy staircase it's very arts focused there too so this is a really great spot for you to kind of dive into all different kinds of arts and culture I'm not even kidding the sidewalk is covered in art every single corner every building has art on it it's a very cool spot and, and the colors just pop all over Miami, yes, don't yeah. they? They really, really do. And then when you're done with that kind of arts district and you know, you've kind of gotten all of that taste, you can do something completely different and go to Miami's countryside. So a lot of people don't realize that Miami actually has two national parks within its city limits. It's really? the only city in the U.S. that has that. So Everglades and Biscayne. Okay. So when you go there, you can go, um, I did this for the first time, an airboat ride. They're fun, Everglades. right? I had no idea they yeah. were that fun. At first it's scary, but yeah, then it's yeah. like, oh, this is really cool. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. So I did that with uh, the Everglades Alligator Farm, and it was really cool. You get to see alligators, obviously. Mm -hmm. And then there's another really cool spot that's kind of iconic. It's called Robert is Here, and it's actually a fruit and vegetable stand, and Robert is actually there. <laughs> we saw him. If he's not there, his son, Robert, is also there. <laughs> they have really great smoothies, a petting zoo, which is so fun for kids. So you can stop by there and have some great tropical fruit. And then, because there's tropical fruit there. You can even visit a winery called Schnebli's and they do tropical fruit wine. So everything from avocado to lychee to mango, they have a brewery. It's good and a beautiful okay. setting. Okay. I know, I know, but it's so fun because you kind of get to try all these things and think, is this going to be good? Is it going to taste like avocado? It's amazing. It's a really fun spot to go. And then finally in that little area, you can go to Monkey Jungle. And this is a really great spot for kids because you can have little squirrel monkeys come and jump on your hands while you feed them. It's just a fun spot for kids to Very hang out. Very cool. And what about the food, Cuban food? Amazing. So if you go there, you really need to do a tour of Little Havana. This is a great way you do a walking and food tour so you can get some samples of really great food like a Cuban sandwich, like Cuban coffee, some ice cream. You do that with Miami's culinary tours. So fun. You end up going to a bar slash um, restaurant. It's called Ball and Chain and they have live Latin music that, that's playing there. They can even teach you how to dance. I tried <laughs> very unsuccessfully. <laughs> we don't have any video of that. <laughs> I think it might be yeah. in there. I picked very specific clips. <laughs> but that's a really fun tour to do as well. And you get in touch with that kind of Cuban uh, culture that's in Miami. Okay, all part of Visit Miami or yeah. Find Your Miami. Find your Miami, and then even if you go all the way, you do need to still go to the iconic Miami Beach. Okay. And they have a separate thing called Find Your Wave. So find your okay. Miami, find your wave. Again, you can see it in a different way. And it's a really cool spot. You have really luxurious hotels like the Satai. So very different from Wynwood and those other experiences, but that's a spot where you can have a lot of great food and some luxury while you're there. And then the other thing I would just say is that Miami always has really, really great deals for Canadians. Mm -hmm. So we're always looking to cash in and get a great, you know, opportunity, something that's more affordable. So they have things called Miami Temptation. So they'll have Spice okay. Miami, which goes on for two months over all their restaurants. They have spa months and hotel months. So check into that because it all goes right. on all year. Okay, we've run out of time, but you love your Miami. It I sounds like <laughs> it is a great spot. We'll get all your uh, social media contacts and all the links up on our website, chch.com slash morning live. <laughs>